Hi everyone. If someone asks you, how is life? Are you celebrating your life? I think most of us will answer, what is there to celebrate? Life is just going on. Most of us we answer like that because we have a criteria as what celebration should be. Celebration can be having a function at home or attending a wedding ceremony, getting graduated from a college, earning a postgraduate or a doctorate degree, having good children, having a very decent job, maybe even seeing children uh, getting entering into a professional colleges. Only when such things happen in our life, we think that life is filled with celebrations. But actually speaking, the truth is, we have to find this celebration in our everyday life. Why I am telling that is, because when I did my uh, data collection for my PhD research work, I had an opportunity to work for some days with patients undergoing hemodialysis. So when I did uh, multiple interviews with such patients, one among the question was, how was life different from before and after being started on dialysis? I think almost all the participants, they said that life before starting dialysis was full of celebrations. It was a wonderful life. It was a joy-filled life. But now life is very different. When asked in depth what they meant by that wonderful and that celebration life, they said it's nothing much. It's like I can drink water as, as per to my need in order to quench my thirst. I can have any type of food as per to my heart's desire. If I want to go out, I can go out. I can do all my things independently. But now it is like I am dependent on others. It is like I am dependent on a machine for a survival. I still remember one of my participants who was working as an advocate before she was started on dialysis. I think after six or seven years after being on dialysis, she, she was in a position of not able to go to a job. And her words were exactly this, like she was telling, previously I had independence to do anything. I had a job, I had goods, I had servants, I, have, I was able to take care of my children very well. I had so many friends. But now, even if I want to go to a shop to buy something, or even if I want to do my daily course, I feel highly tired. I feel I am completely dependent on others and I am a burden to others. Now, what I would like to tell you in this video is, now, how many of us who are watching this video are having the ability to drink water as much so that you can quench your thirst? How many of you are in a position to eat all type of food as per to your heart's desire? How many of you are double boiling your vegetables or your uh, yeah vegetables so that that process is called as leaching so that you can remove the potassium content? Otherwise, serum potassium will increase in the blood. Because patients undergoing dialysis, they do that. They are so concerned about their electrolytes and waste products. How many of you are suffering from abdominal distension or breathing difficulty because you are not connected to a machine called as dialyzer once in two or three days? So all of us, what we enjoy now, the breath which you can take without being connected to an oxygen cylinder, the ability to drink water, the ability to have uh, sumptuous food, the ability to work we all are busy with our own daily course. Even that busy daily course is actually a celebration which we really have to treasure. Because there will be a period in life when maybe when you get old or maybe even after some days or some years, when you look back and see, you will find that these were the moments of celebration. Never once my participant told me that uh, having earned an educational degree or the date of wedding was a celebration moment. They felt that this tiny gifts of having water, having food, ability to walk, ability to do work, all these were considered as celebrations. Again, I would like to talk about another group of people. 
their children small children who are suffering from a clotting disorder called as hemophilia these children i have an opportunity to work with them and these children with hemophilia yeah, i think all health professionals watching this video you will know what is hemophilia the blood does not clot even with a small minor injury these tiny tots they start to bleed profusely even a tooth eruption causes so much of blood loss even the milk teeth which is falling away if this child is suffering from severe factor deficiency that child is going to end up with profuse bleeding how many times in a day we unknowingly hit a door or hit the corner of a table or even just have a small fall but nothing happens to us that is because we have adequate clotting factors in our blood we don't end up with bleeding there are some children with hemophilia who don't even have any predisposing factor why they end up with bleeding just because their factor deficiency is so severe less than 1 percentage they end up with internal bleeding just like that they have internal bleedings how blessed we are when you think that you have so much of adequate clotting factors in your blood that nothing happens to you even when you have a small injury so what is the problem is actually we human beings all of us none of us are to be blamed all of us when our basic needs are being satisfied we always aim for a higher level of need there are so many ambitions there are so many achievements all those are natural all those are normal there is nothing to be blamed but once in a while it is always good to think back and then to treasure that that small fundamental needs what i have already the breath maybe the ability to take water the ability that nothing happens when i fall down all these are tiny blessings in disguise which we have taken it for granted so this video i am doing it so that it is a reminder for all of us that we have to treasure the small small gifts which god has bestowed upon us in this life because there are many people in this world who are not able to enjoy these tiny gifts what you and i are experiencing today so let us learn to celebrate the life which god has given us just because i do these videos it does not mean that i always have a very peaceful and a very calm life i do have my own ups and downs all of us we have our own ups and downs there are days when i feel very down but again standing on the rock standing and clinging on to the lord or god whom i believe slowly i crawl up i stand up and then start the journey so let us all learn how to celebrate this life which god has given us and let us move closer to him so that we'll be able to enjoy these tiny gifts which are present in our everyday life but which is in disguise so let us celebrate our life together thank you